Hey, what is up, my fellow fans of the ball of the foot? I am here today to pick up some football for y'all, and we are going to break down the Jets roster. And we're going to do this by position again. I just like going by position. I feel like it's kind of fun, kind of nice, easy. Uh, we're going to do wide receiver to begin. And we're going to start with my boy here, Jeff Smith. He has only been in 12 games. Three starts, and he's only had eight catches for 113 yards. So he has not really made himself... Like, made him, made, like, his name out there. He hasn't put him, his name out there, you know. Made himself a good career. So, yeah. Replaceable, you know. Good depth, if anything. Special teams, maybe if he could be return guy or something. Who knows? Okay, Elijah Moore. This guy's interesting. This guy right here. He's, he's in 11 games, 6 starts. <clears throat> 43 catches for 538 yards. But he also had five rushes for 54 yards, six touchdowns total. So uh, one rushing, five catching. So this guy right here, that's a good number two or three in my eyes. I could really, if maybe if he gets like more snaps, I feel like he could do something good. DJ right here, this guy was only in three games, three catches for 36 yards. Pretty much question mark still. Who knows with him? Uh, Denzel Mims, he has been real disappointing. He was okay in his first year, but... This last year was less productive than that year. He was in 11 games, three starts, eight catches for 133 yards. So this man, I wanted more from him. Denzel Mims, I wanted just a little bit more from you. <clears throat> and, and now we're on the Corey Davis. This man right here was in Tennessee a couple years, I think, last year actually. Or I, I think it was last year, and I can't remember. But he played all right. He played pretty good. His best year was... Like, he played his best year when he had to play it. So, with that year, he was able to get a deal. And he only started nine games last year. And he only got 34 catches for 492 yards and four touchdowns. So, you don't know what you're going to get with this guy. He could be really good. He could be hurt. He could be average. You don't really know with him. So, I I think they need another receiver. Uh, Tariq Black, question mark. He only caught a 10-yard pass against the Bills. That's all he did. Uh, Brandon, or Braxton, excuse me, Berrios. This guy, I really like. I really like Braxton. I might be like your number one or two guy right here. Uh, 16 games, he had one start. But he had 89 yards, for, or he had 89 catches for 940 yards. And, man... This guy is fun to watch. I like this guy a lot. One of the a good good spot for the Jets ride receiving core. Technically, they only got two guys I really like. You know, I like Braxton. I like Elijah. The rest of these guys could use some work. Denzel needs to step up. Corey needs to prove himself to be a little better and hopefully stay healthy. So I really think they could get a receiver for sure. Like they could need they need one. That'd be nice. But all right, so. With that being said, let's move on to the tight ends. They did get a big sign in CJ Uzama. Uzama. I can't really say that right. But he's an all right sign. Um, he could do both, and uh, he could, uh, meaning he could block and catch passes. So, boom. This guy, good pickup. I like him. He played great for the Bengals. Um, he got hurt in the playoffs, sadly, so hopefully he could you know, come back and be fine. He might already be fine. He did have 493 yards and five touchdowns, and he started all 16 games, so he's reliable. He did get hurt in the playoffs, but that's because he was trying hard. Great pickup. Uh, Trevin, good backup, good blocker behind him. And I don't know these other guys. I apologize, but these two good one too. Maybe get yourself a third tight end if possible. All right. <clears throat> We're going to move on to the tackles. This boy, my, my, my man, Chuma, he's only been in four games uh, this year. So you don't really know anything about this guy. But uh, that's all right. Maybe if he can stay healthy, who knows what you got on him. I see kind of maybe just solid depth, but who knows. Same story with Makai Becton, kind of, but the health-wise. This fool only played uh, 
one game in 2021. Like, I'm like, I think everyone agrees this guy was a great draft pick, and he will tear it up when he's fully healthy. And it's just sad to see that he wasn't able to play that much. But in 2020, he was great. He did great. I hope he just comes back and be great. We're going to skip these safeties and running backs right here. We're going to go on to the O-line. So, we're going to do Isaiah Williams. Um, I'm pretty sure he's just depth. I think he's pretty much just depth. Uh, AVT, my boy AVT, he played in all 16 games. Another freaking good lineman. Another good draft pick. They have some pretty good linemen, honestly. But I feel like they could probably use one more just in case they get hurt again or something. You know, they need they need better depth or another solid starter. But <clears throat> I think Elijah Vera Tucker is going to be probably a superstar lineman. This guy will probably be great. I that's awesome. Uh, da, da, I do not know Drew. I do not know Ross. Do not know Connor. But they are pretty young. Hopefully they could develop on this line. But I don't know actually any of this line. But since I don't know them, I know that they need to upgrade. That is what I do know. <laughs> Lincoln Tomlinson, he's somewhere around here. He's all right, but he's thirty. You can upgrade from him. There he is. He's been solid, but he could be upgradable. Or, I mean, he's replaceable. Um, and all these other guys, they don't really stand out. I really want them to get a lineman. Uh, Connor McGovern down there at center. He did start 15 games, so I'd keep him as depth, but that's probably about it. Uh, that's probably it on a lineman. And... Hmm. All right, we'll go scroll back. We're going to go on to quarterback right here. We're going to talk about my boy Zach Wilson. He was a bit underwhelming. He had 9 TDs to 11 interceptions. After seeing all these other rookies play and then watching Zach Wilson, it's like, man, the other rookies were crazy. Or not, I guess, like, I'm not saying this year's rookies, but like, you know, like Lamar Jackson, Justin Herbert, that type of rookie. So... I don't know. I think I think Zach will be good. He has Robert Sala. Uh, get him a good line, another receiver. Um, get a good run game, dude. They they have the potential for him to be good, and hopefully he can stay healthy for a full seventeen game season and a playoff game. That'd be nice. And uh, I really think he could actually do pretty good with Rob Robert Sala on this offense and everything. They might have a potential, good potential. Mike White, he had his 15 minutes of fame. He was great. He had five touchdowns to eight interceptions, though, in the span of four games. So he only started three of those, but still, I don't know. One stat that's kind of funny, he had five rushes for a negative one yard. <laughs> but no, if you're going to keep someone as your backup, Mike White, he could probably go in and he'll he'll play hard for you. So Zach Wilson and Mike White, it's good to have. I think that's good. Joe Flacco, he screw this guy. All right, no one cares about Joe Flacco. Um, we'll move on to the running backs real quick. Uh, Michael Carter is my dog. I like Michael Carter. I'm glad they got him. I think it's kind of funny they got two Michael Carters on this team, but the running back is awesome. He managed to get 639 yards out of 147 attempts. What we're running behind this line, so. Which was also kind of banged up a bit. So, I think he has the potential to break out, though. Mackay back in, stays healthy. Boom. Break out. I think, ah, uh, I can't wait to see him do good. I think he might be a possible fantasy pickup. So, if he's out there late round or something, I don't know how late he'd be, but I like Michael Carter. I like him. I like him. Uh, They could probably use another back after him, honestly. I like Tevin Coleman here. He's all right. Like, he's good, but he is 28, and I'd like to see his carries go to someone else, you know. He had 84 for 356 yards, so somebody else could probably use him. Some, like, I don't know, one of any of these guys, if they have the same explosion, same type. Or I'd like to see him maybe draft one in the later round type because 
Tevin Coleman, replaceable. I'd like to see some carries go to someone else who could benefit more because Tevin, I think he's towards the end of his career. Uh, But I do like Michael Carter. So, good running back room. Maybe get a guy. All righty. Let's all move on to the safeties now. And I feel very kind of, I feel very sad. Kind of very sad in a way. Jordan Whitehead. Oh, I don't have my Squidward up. Jordan Whitehead, they replaced, or they used uh, him as a replacement. Like, they brought in him and let Marcus May go. So, do you would you rather have Jordan Whitehead or Marcus May is the thing. And they chose Jordan Whitehead. He was from the Bucks. He played there for like four years, and he had at least 50 sacks every year, so... He's pretty good. He has quite a bit of pass breakups as well. So he is a good signing. It would be cool if they had Jordan Whitehead and Marcus May instead of just Jordan Whitehead, you know? Keep them both. Because on the other hand, you got LaMarcus Joyner down here on the end of his career. He only played one game. Uh, he he's probably He's probably done, you know? And then you don't really have another safety. Will Parks, he's bounced around. He was on the Broncos. He only played three games for the Jets. He might be an all right special teams guy or or depth, but you don't have another safety here that I really see. So you got Jordan here, and that's it. That's pretty much all I see. They really need a safety in my eyes right there. So, all right, we're going to go ahead and move on to linebacker here. Boop, boop, boop. Quincy Williams. He did have his best year last year. And he does have potential to get better. He just, you know, I want him to I want him to step it up just a little bit more. You know, I think he could take the next step. Just he he is a problem on the field for sure though. Like he is hundred percent a problem on the field. Oh, you know what? I apologize. I'm talking about D lineman over here, Quinn and Williams. We're moving on to the D line. My apologies. I was talking about Quinton Williams. That man. Great, great player. 15 point, 15 and a half sacks last in three years. Three years, you get 15 and a half sacks. That's pretty good. Six last year. He Six sacks in 16 games. Like I was saying, I want to see a little bit more, but amazing. Freaking amazing. I like him. He is a he is the guy that I was saying is a problem on the field. This man right here, Quinnen. He did not have his best year last year. That was the other guy. But yeah. Amazing player right here. But I want to see more out of him. Which he knows he could produce more. Alright. And now we're gonna go on a I don't know Tim Ward. So we're gonna go on to Solomon Thomas here. And he has not lived up to his first round expectations, man. This guy the 49ers were probably right to let him go. He only played in seven or he played in 17 games last year and only got three three and a half sacks. How do you play 17 games and get three and a half sacks when you're a former first round pick? That's just not good, man. 15 tackles, that's not good. He is pretty much a bust unless he could revive his career here. Uh, I don't know Tanzio or Tenzel. Nathan is pretty all right. He's just a depth at this point. He gets four and a half sacks in four years. That's not too bad, So, but it's not too good. But I don't know. They could probably use another D-line. They got a bust and not really good. Sheldon Rankins was another guy I liked, but he's just pretty much depth. He was like, he's only started two years out of the five years that he was on the Saints. And that was 2017 and 18, which only had 10 sacks. And then 2019 and 2020, he was not really anything. But, yeah, he did get a little better in 2021. But then, I don't know, the Saints didn't, like, see a reason to get him much money. And I see why as well. He's just depth. Sheldon Rankin's depth. Uh, Carl Lawson. This guy's he. I think he could be a really good pickup. He played the last time he played was in twenty twenty though. So who knows? 
he might take a second to adjust, but I I really like him. I really liked him when he was playing, so who knows? I think they could use a D-line. Everyone was talking about how this D-line was scary, which it, it kind of was for a little bit, but then it's like they really probably could use one more person. They kind of just signed depth. John Franklin Myers uh, was amazing. I don't know how I could for, for, forget about him. This man, uh, I liked him. He had six sacks last year, but he like he's a fourth round pick, and for a fourth round pick to have six sacks, that's not bad. Uh, but I would like to see him do more. A lot of these guys, I want to do more. Or I want them to do more. And then Bryce Huff, he just probably just needs to develop more. Hopefully they could. He ha he's in a, a good spot to develop. I think these guys could be really good next year. But right I don't know. It's it's hard. It's just hard. But okay. We're gonna go on to the linebackers. Now we're actually talking about Quincy Williams, the linebacker. This is the man that actually had the best year last year and really has the potential to get better. I like him as a linebacker, but who knows? They have other guys as well that I like, like CJ Mosley. This is one of my favorite players. Like, he was one of my favorite players back in the day. When he was on the Ravens, freaking loved him. So him being on the Jets, he is, I'm pretty sure he's still the same player. He's still great. Like, man, great player. I like him. Do everything you can to keep him for at least a little bit. I like him. Jacob Martin. He is reliable but replaceable. He was on the Texans. Right below him. So who really knows? Deshaun is just pro like depth. But you could probably replace. And I don't know Jermaine. And yeah. Hamas. I can't even say that word or that name. Because I suck. But alright. Greg the Leg and Eddie Pinheiro. Eddie Pinheiro must have missed or did something if they signed Greg the leg. So who knows? They'll probably battle it out. But alrighty. We're going to move up on to the corners. This is where the other uh, Michael Carter is. But Javen White, he's a question mark. You don't know anything about him, really. Um, Isaiah Dunn, question mark. We don't really know. And then... Justin, depth. I just want to get those three out of the way. Two question marks and depth. And then the real players here. Oh, I guess also right here, this guy, Wild Goose, he's also depth. The real DJ, he could be a better sign. He was pretty solid for, or he was pretty solid for the Seahawks. So maybe he could be maybe like fourth or fifth corner, special teams type. So he's probably alright, but replaceable. Jason, I don't know. Bryce Hall, I like. He had his best year last year. Another guy who had his best year. He's going to his third year, so hopefully he only gets better. And with 16 pass deflections last year, that's actually not bad. They must have targeted him, and he just was like, nope. So that's pretty good. Um, He could be a two or three, but I still think they could use a corner. Javen, I don't know. Brandon Eccles, he's another good young uh guy to pick up it's only 24 uh he's also going into his oh never mind i started reading the wrong thing but i hope he continues to develop and play well he had seven pass deflections two picks it's not bad for that boy michael carter the db same thing i like this dude as a player i hope he continues to develop i hope this jets get another corner please all right we talked about connor talked about this is jack rabbit everybody i don't know if he's coming back but i liked him keelan cole just a depth Laurent, i don't know if he's coming but he was okay when he's on the field tyler same thing he's all he was okay on the field i think he gets hurt a lot as well so i'm not too sure and then alex lewis he's all right but i'm not too sure if he'll be back either but all right everybody I hope you all enjoyed the handsome man breakdown of the Jets. I don't think they're a playoff team. Um, I'm, I don't know why I did that. I don't think they're a playoff team 
for sure. A lot of guys I don't really know. And they just need a lot of help. And a receiver, a lineman, safety, running back, corner. Uh, that's a lot. They could use a lot. <laughs> so I don't know what else to say. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the Jets. And thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for the next one. And peace out, everybody.